Uh, good, uh, pleasant evening one again, guys. Um, back again. Oops, sorry about that. Uh, back again, filming that uh, Katoa. So, um, I think we're going back. Yep, we're going to Lily's for uh, housewarming. Or welcome home, I guess. Uh, so, uh, like I was saying, uh, to, uh, walking up the now slightly more familiar corridors of the girl dorms, I can hear the faint sound of laughter coming up ahead. Uh, it doesn't take long to identify the sources, the source as Lily's room, though the deep timbre of a f the female voice unmistakably belongs not to her but to her sister. I wrap my knuckles on the door with the usual three light taps, my hand barely retreating as the door swings open. Hey, Hisao. Hello. Hey, hello, Lily. Hanako. Hanako looks up tentatively, her hands buried in her oversized pink nightgown. From her side, Lily turns sideways towards the direction of my voice and smiles. Uh, it would be a flagrant, flagrant lie to say I dislike the sight of her in those pajamas. I catch Akira giving me a sidelong look with a knowing grin, to which I reply with a sharp glare. <laughs> she takes the hint, shrugs, and walks back to the low table in the center of the room. As I go to join her, Lily gives me a nod of greeting and starts pouring me a cup of tea. It's nice to see you again, Hanako. You've been getting around recently. Huh. Uh, Lily wears a look of concentration as the light brown liquid carefully measured by her finger flows from the teapot into the cup. It seems that Hanako has taken up helping one of, one of the people in your class with the Newspaper club. Naomi, I think. Kanaka gives me affirmative nod. Even after spending about two months in class, I still have trouble remembering the names of those students I rarely talk with. Uh, that's not that's not something to be proud of. Um, you should you should know the names of everybody. Uh, um, takes me a few min mental contortions to connect the name with the face, but I eventually remember the girl that sits beside Hanako at the back of the class. Nao Naomi Inoue, a fairly average-looking girl except for her bleach blonde hair. Uh, give her an upbeat, straightforward personality. Given her, oh, given her upbeat, straightforward, straightforward personality, Naomi may have seen an opening to poach Hanako for her club when she inquired about joining one. Either way, it's nice to see Hanako broadening her horizons. When I first met her, the idea of jo her joining a club with anyone but Lily would have seemed utterly laughable. That explained how busy you've been. Enjoying it? Mm, yeah, it's really interesting. As always, Hanako's far from being talkative. Some things never change, and it seems that Hanako's personality is one of them. She will likely always be one to shy away from being overly social. Worn by the sound of cro crockery against the table as Lily places my drink in front of me, I thank her and take a long sip. Lily, Hanako and Lily are attending to their own, and Akira is quaffling a mug of strong-smelling black coffee. You're a lucky bastard, Hiseo. Huh? I can't help grimacing at the teasing smile still vis visible around the mug pressed to her lips. Seeing my sister in her pajamas, there's a lot of men out there who'd like to be where you are. I've seen a lot more than that of her. Not that I I'd admit it. Akira? Hey, I'm just teasing. Uh, she leans over to me as much as she can, whispering with a sly grin written on her face. Uh, and Hanako too, you perv. <laughs> hey, hey, it was their idea. Of course it was. Uh, I, uh, we both look over to her, her face turned to the ground and her hands fidgeting in her lap of her nightgown. If it's Haseo, I don't mind. And this could be bad. I know altogether too innocent, er, Hanako's altogether too innocent to bother reading too much into such a thing, but her expression, Akira directs at me, is positively stormy. <laughs> I'm Akira, please. It seems Lily can sense Akira's sudden change in aura just as well as I, even without seeing it for herself. Akira slowly looks away from me like an attack dog leashed by its owner in the nick of time. I breathe a sigh of relief. I can't think of a more appropriate time to try and change the topics now. If you don't mind me asking, what do you do for a living? I've never seen you out of that suit. Thinking about what to do with yourself after school is over, eh? I'm a lawyer. For the most part, I work in the legal department of the Japanese branch of our family's company. The most boring possible answer, I suppose. Law is a pretty dry topic to most people, kinda. Well, well that would... That's kind of obvious. Uh, oi, you're not supposed to agree. <laughs> Lily gives an amused giggle while holding her teacup and saucer, Hanako quickly joining her. This finish, this friendly atmosphere between everyone is something I'd miss while Lily and Akira were on their trip. While the dealings I had with Hanako didn't help, I think just not having Lily around changed the mood. 
It's nice to be back. I missed you, Haseo, and you too, Hanako. Same goes for the both of us. I'm guessing your classmates were happy to see you back. In a manner of speaking, yes. Uh, Kira's amused snort shows she's well aware of Lily's attitude towards such figures of speech. I imagine she'd be, given how long they've been together. Did you have fun in Scotland? For a moment, I wonder why she's asking. It's been quite a while since they came back, but then I remember everything that happened. We simply had not not had the time to look back. And what with exams in our Hokkaido trip? Lily's face goes distant for a moment, and the fact that Akira's first reaction is to look over to her sister doesn't escape me. Nonetheless, she cl quickly collects herself. It was nice. I We had, hadn't met our family in such a long time, so it was a wonderful reunion. Yeah, I guess that's right. Their house being beachside was the best part, though. From her dismissive tone, I get the feeling Akira doesn't like their family as much as Lily does. You only liked it that you only liked that because you had time to play around. Just because I'm the better swimmer, I don't take after the athletic side of the family. That's all. Well, you can take heart in the fact that you've got the height genes at least, and the bust genes. <laughs> that's not really the right kind of thing to say around others. Though Lily pretends to scold Akira, she does it so with an unmistakably slightly cheeky grin on her face. I doubt Akira re really minds that, judging from her nonchalant expression. While I don't either, Hanako's looking down and blushing furiously beside me. The sisters' antics aside, their parents really do lead a bourgeoisie lifestyle. Bourgeois. Uh, it seems utterly divorced from the life that Lily and Akira have lived until now. I suppose practically must have made this decision for them. To have come from such a wealthy family and well-connected lineage only adds to the n almost noble air Lily seems to have, though. Uh, it's a small wonder none of them seems to have rubbed off on Akira. I just... <laughs> what is it with the character in you here? Like, we're, we're, like yeah, they're kind of... Make them look like girls. <laughs> uh, they really are as little alike as siblings could be. Their only similarity seems to be their shared confidence, which can be both endearing and a headache at the same time. Uh, most of the night continues, that's just the same Hanako eventually leaving the Sato sisters and I to ourselves as she heads back to her dorm for a rest. For a while, only the audible so sound of li from Lily's teacup and saucer can occasionally be heard as she slowly drinks. The silence is strained as Lily and I wait for the elephant in the room to be addressed. So... Lily du dutifully puts her cup down, giving her sister her undivided at attention. Uh, with Lily and I on one side of the table and Akira on the other, this almost feels like a judge passing down a verdict. I hear that you two are going out now. Uh, I, gl I glance sideways at Lily to confirm as the source to confirm her as the source of Akira's knowledge. She gives a gentle nod to Akira, which I reflect in affirmation, deciding that this is the proper time and place to do so. And Akira, being the closest figure to a parent Lily's had for much of her life, I bow deeply with my hands on the floor before me and my head very nearly the same. I'll take good of, good care of your sister, Akira. I promise you. See, he's a lo he's a lovely young gentleman. She must have heard my voice coming from a lower position than usual. I slowly bring myself up, back, back up, my eyes tentatively looking at Akira from under my brow. To tell you the truth, I very much doubt my suited judge will raise any objection. She's very definitely the type to make her disapproval with others well known, something that lends her a measure of respect in my eyes. The old-fashioned kind, huh? Well, he's the kind of person I guess you'd go for. I don't have a problem with it, and I wish you two the best. Even if I didn't like it, I couldn't really do anything anyway. <laughs> well, at least he does that. Oh, I just realized the Kira has red eyes, and, and Lily has blue. Jeez. I offer a nod of appreciation to her as Lily gives a small sigh of relief, likely more out of duty than any actual belief that Akira might have had any problems with us being together. I do wonder, though, how's the rest of the family taking it, particularly the part residing at Yamako? Have you told her? Smile turns to grimaces as Akira grins downright easily. Those closest know how to twist the knife best after all. Putting up with it may be the best term for the situation. Don't you agree, Haseo? Yeah, that sounded kind of right. At least she's being reasonable about it. Good to hear. That girl can be a handful at times. Yes, Shizune. We sent a few messages back and forth during and after the trip, and she was already busting my chops for seeing my boyfriend when we came back after leaving Hideaki for so long. She really does care about for that little guy. I cast my mind backwards to Shizune's odd reaction after telling her about our relationship, but decide not to bring it up. It's no doubt simply born of their mutual antipathy 
and Akira's comments only back that up. Well, that's then that's said. I've got to get to work early tomorrow, so I better be off. She raises, she rises from the table with a grunt, her hand on her knee to push herself up. I just notice Akira's eyes lingering on Lily for a couple of seconds before turning away as she begins to take her leave. After she walks out the door, she stops and looks up thoughtfully before turning to us one last time. Oh yeah, I almost forgot to tell you. Use protection every time. I gag violently on the tea in my mouth. Contrary to my own, Lily's composure holds perfectly as she seems entirely unfazed. I'm kind of impressed. We are, we are don't worry. Atta girl, see us. Uh, with that, she turns and strides out the door, hand held high as she disappears into the darkened hallway, closing the door behind her. The most reaction I can muster is flopping forwards onto the table, completely drained of energy and truly exhausted by her. Lily's ability to hold her own against that suited devil is something I admire. She really is incredibly blunt. I don't think I'll ever be able to keep up with your sister's energy. As I feel so Lily's soft hand come to rest on my own, I roll my head to the side to see her gently smiling. For a long time, we simply sit beside each other silently. Given her unquestionably unusual height, she's pretty much exactly the same, as tall as I am. And at probably a couple centimeters higher, if anything, like this, she appears even taller. The feeling of her soft, pale hand against mine is a pleasant one, as is the sight of the thin, silken pajamas she wears, showing her curves and collarbone. You do get on well, though, even if you do say that. I guess, you know, you two are a lot more alike than I first thought when I met you. Then it's a good thing I quickly stopped you from... <laughs> then it's a good thing I quickly stopped you from going uh, for after her, isn't it? Though she jokes about it, my assessment of my inability to keep up with Akira, either physically or mentally, was quite in earnest. Lily's slow-paced and ladylike, almost motherly nature is perhaps the single thing that helped me most in my first weeks at Yamaku. Come to think of it, wait, since when were we using protection? Uh, as I give a curious look to my side, Lily's cheeks puff up as she huffs at me. Unlike you, I remember, the packet is in the cupboard next to the sink, so I'm not the only one of us taking that takes pills. In hindsight, I feel rather thoughtless for not remembering at all and leaving it to Lily. Looking over to the cupboard she mentions, I notice again the knee-high piles of books around us that were the other time that were here the other times I visited. For the most part, they're lined up against the wall to give a little more room around the table. Why don't you get a bookshelf for your books? It's odd to just see books piled up around, especially given your room looks so neat and orderly otherwise. They're easier to find this way. I know exactly which piles of books to look in. Wouldn't you still know that after putting each set on a different shelf that may be but she's not immune to the bouts of laziness after all you have so many of them it's kind of a shame we can't share books our book sets despite us both reading so much she gives a short giggle come to think of it why do you order books through yukio yuko i imagine there'd be plenty of sites that you can order from books from in braille especially in english braille there are a lot of text-to-speech programs too she turns her head slightly away from me, which strikes me somewhat surprising. I'm just not that good with computers. I'm alright with typewriters and brailers, but that's about it. Her tone almost makes me chuckle. Such a pr prideful person, so admitting something that was must be so difficult. So Lily's the low-tech kind of person. Given her old-fashioned personality, it's not really a stunning surprise. I wouldn't worry about it. A lot of people aren't really good with them, so it's not that unusual. That un That's un that unusual? Now she's even more depressed. It feels like I'm twisting the knife rather than healing her wounds. With a bit of squirming, I shuffle closer to her, tentatively putting one hand around her waist to hug her. I'm still not really used to this kind of physical affection, but Lily seems to like it. Kissing! Uh, Lily seems smiles as she turns to face me, kiss being the reward for giving in to her. She draws me in, brushing my upper lip with hers before pressing against both. This way, every one of my senses is filled with her. The barely perceptible scent of her hair, her taste as her tongue fleetingly touches mine, the tenderness of her lips, the image of her filling my mind, the total silence apart from her faint breath. We may have kissed before, but even if this is a more simple affection, simple kiss of simple affection than anything, it's still a new pleasant sensation. Okay, um, uh, the video's getting kind of long, so I'm going to stop it there. Um... Uh, what a, what a better way to end the scene than with a kissing. So uh, like the video and keep watching for more. Uh, there's still about an hour or so left of the game, if not a little bit more if I remember correctly. So just bear with me for the next 10 or so videos. Anyway, see you.